Hey guys, this is Crypto Marie. She does it all, a little bit of everything. I'm going to give you why so many people are divorcing. Part two, the reason, because listen, I cannot give you any advice, but I have seen so many divorce going on in Hollywood or in regular life. I mean, do people even think about it before they say, okay, I am done, I am through, it's over? Because at the end of the day, the grass is not greener on the other side. So I had to do a little research, and this is what it come with the reason, 10 reason why people are div uh, divorcing. Uh, the first one is infidelity or an extramarital affair. And um, it explained, but it's, uh, it goes into detail. What's going on, you know, extramarital affair and fidelity is when the partner, one partner go to the other, to a different person and do their thing and the other partner found out and messed up the whole thing, right? I can go in through death to read the whole thing. It'll take too long. So the second reason it says trouble with finance. Discuss your finance before you get married with the person. I'm not going to give you advice, but if you need prenup, have a point up before you get married because let me tell you something, you might regret it. Love is blind. You don't think the moment you see the person, but now, you know, things happen. You divorce. If you don't want that make more money, you're going to have to support the person. If you have kids, it's a different thing. I'm just going to give you the reason why people are divorcing and a brief little reason what's going on in through it. But I am not an expert. I don't, I don't, that's not my area. I cannot tell you if you need any help, get some help before you file for divorce. Because at the end of the day, sometimes if you just give it a little second, remember why you fall in love with that person, you will not so easily fall out and then want to get out just because things are not looking lovely. You don't just walk away. Try to make it work. Okay. So Number three is his lack of communication. There was a lot of things going on. Some people get married really fast. They don't really know each other well. They don't have that person only wear brand name clothes, Gucci, Valenciaga, <laughs> just a few of them. And they don't even make enough money to actually support their bad habit. Some people will go all the way and spend in hardcore to show people that they're doing amazing. I remember one time somebody told me, Crypto Marie, you will not believe how much somebody spent to get married. Almost $150,000, big wedding, you name it. And then they could not even afford to buy their own place to stay. They had to go live with the wife, mother. Why would you get a debt, get into debt for one hundred to one hundred and fifty? dollars thousand dollar to show off to get married to buy the lavish dress the reception and everything else and you cannot even buy your own place to live it's ridiculous do you think this marriage is going to last of course not because two different people have diff two different views on how to spend money and obviously you can see some of them want to show off and they cannot afford to live the lifestyle that they are living jesus christ so let's go guys <laughs> Uh, number four, it says constant arguing. People don't know how to communicate. They keep on fighting about any little thing. Those shoes in the wrong place, the socks. Um, Oh, God, you name it. <laughs> Some guys shave their beard. They don't clean the stuff. Some people pee. They don't lift up the toilet. It's so many reasons that will have you say, damn, did I make the right decision to marry this person? It's so many bad habits popping up. I personally think, not, not not advice that I'm giving, you should be living with the person first to see, three to six months, excuse me, three to six months to see what kind of habit they have. Can you live with those habits? Can they change those habits before you say, I do? Because if you get married to them and then by the time you move in together, that's when you find out this person snores, this person uh, turn on the bed, they do all kind of weird stuff. They listen to loud music while they're home. They do crazy things. You get to learn things about people that you never thought, you know, you will be learning and stuff like that could drive you crazy and run to divorce. That was number four. We're going to go for number five, weight gain. Weight gain usually is an issue, but most likely for the woman, after we give birth, you cannot expect us to be 100 pounds like you met us. It's different. 
you know, the hormones kick in. Even though we work out, it's just not shedding off. The weight not going to come off. So you have to expect that when you get married to this beautiful, thin, skinny person or somebody like, you know, us as a beautiful black woman already have some meat on. After we get married, we give birth, we gain weight. It's going to take some time to shed off the weight or you're going to have to deal with us and still love us just the way we look. We're still beautiful. We're still the same person, but some people don't like to see their woman gain some weight and some people appreciate a little weight. You know, it's just that you can't, you can't, you just can't get it right. Okay. Weight gain is one of them and unrealistic expectation. Ah, that's number six. Some people don't really know how much they partner make every two weeks. They don't know the partner cannot afford to live in in some kind of, you know, be able to buy a house or, or a nice apartment. Um, and not like the best of the best. Like you have to find out your financial situation before you say I do. Because that, that's going to destroy the whole thing. Woman's love making could be amazing when things are doing fine. But when things are not going the way you expect it, it will it, it will turn you off easily, like in a flip second, like them. I did not sign up for this. I wanna out. I can't take this anymore. Unrealistic expectation. You didn't know that person could not afford to live the lifestyle that initially show you. <laughs> With the Gucci bag, <laughs> Balenciaga, oh, the Dior. <laughs> There's so many crap. Okay, number seven, lack of intim- intimacy. Lack of intimacy. Yes, in the beginning, three times a day, five times a week, people at it. They doing their thing, they doing their deeds. But then when they start getting, when, when they get married, they change the routine. Probably the guy thinking things are going to get better when they get married, but after they get married, things change. It's not the same. And after they give birth to a child, things change. You know, it's not the same. They don't have the same, um, the same enthusiasm. Things change, you know. Um, they worry about their kids. They worry about the bills. Guys are like, oh, damn, I didn't sign up for this. I think things are going to get better, but not getting better. So lack of intimacy. And I think number eight, lack of equality um for some people based on the culture background they they for some reason some guys think they have to make the majority of the decision making financially or whatever the person do they have to control everything and some women add it head to head it's like damn can can we just get together 50 50 and make it work i don't know it happens so number nine not being prepared for marriage. Most of the people are not really ready to get married, but because of pressure, want to show off, want to show their friends, their family member that they can do it and they go at it and it's going to, you could tell it's going to fail. It's doomed to fail because people don't do their homework. They don't try to find out who's the person is about the, 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 the other person. What are they about? What they like to do? Some people gambling like Ben Affleck. He's, he was, he used to be a big gambler. I don't know if JLo can stop that, but if you, if you're a drinker, if you're a gambler, it's so many other reasons that will make somebody say, you know what? I'm done. It's over with. We don't have enough money to support that kind of habit. But if you were to do your homework first, you would not fall for that crap. Okay. And finally, number 10, physical and emotional abuse. Some people are abusive physically um verbally oh they try to bring you down they try to knock you down step on you make you feel like you're nothing you're not worth it and in the beginning they treat you like a flower they treat you so well you're thinking damn this can't get any better than that but after they get the deed they happy they doing they think they feel like they could disrespect you all kind of way it's not gonna work it's gonna fail again. This is part two for why marriages are failing, why people are not trying to work things out. People realize they have a big difference and they don't understand each other. They cannot communicate, lack of intimacy, arguing. There's so many things going on. Again, this is Crypto Marie. She does it all, a little bit of everything. Leave me a comment. And then if you're in a situation like that, you need help, 
seek some help. I cannot help you. I cannot help you give you advice in, in that area. But again, there was help out there. Seek help. May God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Crypto Marie, she does it all a little bit of everything. Bye.